Hello everyone, welcome back to the Will the Reaper channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a tier list of regular show characters because um, I don't know if you guys know what happened uh, politically yesterday, but uh, basically I saw a meme where Mordecai and Rigby were holding a firearm and he's like, dude, Ben's is going to be so pissed. And then you know, Ben's like screaming at them. And <laughs> it's like, oops, we missed. <laughs> and Ben's just starts screaming at him. But anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, I'm going to be doing a regular show tier list because I was like, ooh, I haven't done a tier list in a while. Um, I haven't watched a show in a long time, and I haven't fully watched a show. That's why all these characters, for example, like Starla and Thomas, I kind of just forgot about. And uh, mainly the characters that I am ranking today are ones that I genuinely know about. Um, so yeah, let's get down to it. Again, it might be flaws because I haven't seen it in a while, but who cares? Uh, Skips is an S tier. He's, you know, immense strength, immense wisdom about everything. Um, for what I can remember, apparently he's, like, extremely old, so he's always full of knowledge. He just wants what's best for everyone. Uh, he always guides everyone to the right path. Can't be a better character than that. Evil Pops is A tier. You know, Pops has done nothing wrong, and so just out of the blue, it's Evil Pops, you know, the embodiment of being sinister and pure evil. And, you know, in that last episode, by the way, spoilers, by the way, for... For some of this, even though I don't remember most of it, but when when Pops was flying, Evil Pops in the sun, and he kind of just accepted his fate and like showed love for the first time, like hugged Pops, is like wow, that is like true character development right there. So yeah, he gets an A tier. Pops gets an S tier. I mean, he he has this iconic laugh. He always just, you know, he he doesn't wanna he doesn't dabble in violence. He he he's always wants he always wants to be a pacifist. But in some certain cases and everything, like when he rapped, he did a rap battle with poetry. Um, you know, he always stands up for his friends. So he gets an S tier. Uh, Pops' dad probably gets an F tier. He's just he's just so mean to everyone. You know, he always wants to make sure like. Uh, everyone's doing their job like you know he literally gives Benson a heart attack every second and he's just like a horrible guy to be around uh skips his cousin gets an A tier because he's not the most prominent figure in the show but um from what I can remember he kind of just showed up and he's like the complete opposite of Rigby he's like a real go-getter overachiever everyone loves him and like Riz Rigby becomes extremely jealous and everything like that I'll get to Mordecai Rigby in a little bit, but yeah, uh, uh, Rigby's cousin gets an A tier, definitely. Uh, the Ducks get a B tier, because they've only shown up every once in a while. They're really cool guys. Uh, you know, they, 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 from what I can remember, I don't want to say the wrong information, but when the geese were attacking Mordecai Rigby at the park, they formed into like a mega duck and just started <laughs> beating the crap out of all the geese. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So the Ducks get a B tier, but they're not like, the most prominent figures, so they can't really give him an S tier. Mordecai gets probably gets a C tier. Um, you know, much like Rigby, he he slacks off all the time. He always sounds like he's high. Um, he makes a lot of bad choices and everything like that. Um, actually, no, I'll give him B tier because in the grand scheme of things, he does want he wants what's best. Uh, for himself and Rigby, for everyone at the park. He, but he's just like, he, he slacks off all the time. But he's one of the main characters of the show, so he's funny. You know, he keeps the show going. Uh, I should give him a C tier for killing Rigby uh, in that one episode about, like, time or whatever because he's he's basically the biggest simp ever. So he, like, basically killed Rigby over, um, what's it called? Not Marceline. Margaret, yeah. So, you know, he got, like, he's, like, an F tier for that, but all in all, he, he gets a B tier. Rigby, Rigby also gets uh, a B tier. You know, I, I hate the C tier. I'm getting rid of the C tier. I mean, no one uses the C tier D tier, let's be honest. Uh, at least not for this show, because all the characters are very well written. Uh, Rigby gets a B tier. Um, you know, as bad as it was that <laughs> Mordecai basically killed uh, Rigby over Margaret. Uh, Rigby basically, I forgot exactly what he did, but he basically destroyed, like, uh, Mordecai's high school diploma. Uh, and kind of, like, ruined his future and everything. Um... But he, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it it was selfish, but also selfless because, you know, he was selfish because he wanted Mordecai, but it was kind of selfish because he, he, you know, he he wants to grow with Mordecai and, you know, a little bit was jealous. He was jealous that Mordecai was going to go somewhere while Rigby wasn't. Um, 
But yeah, he also just like wanted to be with his best friend, which is understandable. But yeah, uh, no, I'm putting more. I'm putting Rigby above Mordecai here. Um, so yeah, he gets a C tier. Benson gets an A tier. Benson has done some pretty bad things. He um, like when Rigby got into the coma for doing the egg challenge, he told like Mordecai to get back to work, and you know Mordecai punched Benson, which is probably one of the most satisfying moments in the show. But Benson's like a Squidward because in the in, when you first watch the show, you're like, oh my god, you know, like Benson's so mean. But as you like as you like watch the show or as you get older, you realize that like Benson just wants what's best for everyone. He has to deal with constant slacking off, you know, pops and skips, and you know, even Muscle Man and. High five goes, you know, they're always doing their jobs and everything. He, you know, he's always under constant fear of getting fired by Pops' dad. And he just got to, like, hand it to him. You know, he's had, like, relationship trouble. He's, uh, supposedly there's a whole analysis on YouTube where, um, he's, he gets addicted to, like, wings. Wings are supposed to be, like, alcohol and stuff like that, like, drugs and stuff. Um, which I never realized until now, which I guess, like, it makes sense. But, you know, Benson's just, like, he's, like, a troubled guy, but he just wants everyone to do their job. And that is such an easy thing. That's such an easy desire for everyone to have, just for everyone to have, you know, be doing the job, being proactive. So I can't blame him. So he's definitely an A tier. He has done some pretty mean things, but, like, he's such a mis he is such a misunderstood character. Um, <laughs> Muscle Man gets an A tier. I mean, he, he just has a lot of humor you know he's always like my, my, you know and all this other stuff always taking his shirts off a uh, very memorable moment you know and stuff when like you, we they went to the trailer and met his mom and she's like five thousand pounds like that's just like funny he he makes the show very funny so you gotta give him credit for that uh now okay now margaret and eileen i don't know too much about from what i can remember margaret stands her ground a lot of the times um you know, especially because it's weird because, like, you know, Mordecai's, like, a huge simp and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, from what I can remember, she doesn't do anything wrong. Uh, she's always supportive of Eileen and Rigby and Mordecai. And, yeah, she's just, like, you know, she's not the most, like, important character in the show. But, like, you know, she she's dealt with some stuff with Mordecai and everything like that. So she definitely gets a B tier. Uh, same thing with Eileen. Like I said, I don't know enough about both of them, but I do know that like, you know, they're both very supportive. They, I don't think Margaret's done anything wrong. There's like this cloud girl. I know that there was like a drama with, you know, those, uh, her Mordecai and Margaret, but again, I don't know enough, but I do know that they're very supportive. Um, even though they're kind of like the, some of the side characters in the show, like pops is dad. Um, but yeah, no, they, they get a B tier. And then lastly, High Five Ghost gets an A tier. Because much like Muscle Man, he's like, he's always supportive. He's gone into brawls with his friends, you know, like for his friends, I should say. And yeah, he's always supportive. Uh, very laid back guy. His voice is like, you know, much like Pops. It's very iconic, very impossible to, to pull off. He's like, hey guys, you know, that kind of thing. Always voice cracking and stuff. But um. Yeah, uh, like I said, I should probably rewatch the show because I've never watched the show in its entirety, and I want to. I'll probably watch it someday, probably next semester when I'm in my dorm or something like that. But uh, yeah, no, this is uh, at least now kind of like a uh, say called prototype of the regular show tier list. So yeah, if I have any um, any uh, hot takes or if I'm just blatantly wrong about anything. Please say so in the comments because yeah, I want to know your guys' thoughts. Uh, but yeah, I haven't. I literally haven't watched the show since like when it ended, like four Christmases ago. So like, I kind of forgot most of it. But I remember things like Benson, for example. I was like, he definitely deserves an A tier. But uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.